Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve two important interview scenarios that were asked in Citibank. So the first question was, you know, showing the sales for the subcategory item selected by the user, and select one. Second one is, you know, showing the percentages based on filtering, and in, and it should not get impacted by the values that we are filtering from the filter shell. So let us get started without wasting much time. And while doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So assume I have my subcategory. So to replicate our first scenario, I'm just creating my subcategory and I'm also taking my sales. Okay, so here the intention or the requirement from the user in the interview was, whatever the subcategory item that user is selecting, he want to display only sales for that. That is the requirement, okay? So for that, I'm trying to create one parameter here and I'm going to write select a subcategory, okay? And I'm going to take string values here and here list of values and I'm directly adding it from my subcategory. So we got all the values. I'm just showing this parameter. So we have created a parameter. And second step, we are also showing that parameter. Now, third step is to establish a relationship with our database so that it can work according to our requirement here. Now, what I'm trying to do is write a simple calculation for that. Pause the video here and you know do comment in the comment section if you can do that. If you have watched my previous videos, you should definitely able to solve this type of question in your, in your interview. I'm going to create a calibrated field. Okay. If my subcategory item is matching with my parameter value. So now what is happening here in this case, if I write, so from my subcategory item, this is the value that I'm getting from my database. So in this, I have all of my subcategory items, but given the parameter scenario, I'm selecting only accessories, which means only one value will be, you know, a true at any point here. So if I'm selecting accessories, accessories would come here. So now what will happen in this case? So for accessories, this will become true. And for all of other cases, it will become false. So just to show you, I'm just writing it something like this. Click on apply and okay, let us write like this. Uh, P select subject. Okay, and I'm just calling this field and dropping it right next to it. Now, if you observe, only accessories is becoming true. Why? Because from my parameter values, I'm just selecting accessories. Now, if I change it to appliances, only appliances is becoming true, rest are becoming false, which means from my parameter value, I will get only one value. Whereas in subcategory, I have got all the values. Now, this is what you need to understand always how the background is working for your data. Then only you will be able to write effective calculations or debug any complex logic. So if this is becoming true, okay, then I want to display sales and add. Simple. Okay, so this is becoming valid. And again, like I always say, if at all you want to aggregate at this level, you can do that as well. I'm just taking this apply. Now see here, it is becoming true. I'm just going to remove uh, this or I'll drop it here and remove this. Because it is not aggregated, I'm just trying to aggregate it to some. So whatever the subcategory item you are selecting, only that is becoming true. Okay, so this is the first use case. Second use case is, like say, assume I have my segment here and I have my sales value here. Okay, and I'm also creating, uh, I'm just making a percentage of this. Okay, and I'm dropping my segment into filter shell. So I'm just show, going to show you the problem statement here so that you understand. Now, if you observe, if I'm trying to select only, uh, you know, deselect con consumer here, my percentage is changing here. 
the as of now consumer has got 50% corporate has 30% and home office has 18% but if i uncheck this consumer based on the values that are available here my value is getting updated and my percentage is changing so user is coming up with a requirement that he does not want this kind of impact on his data so technically consumer is also there in the database so he want that to compute at that level now how are we going to solve that okay so pause the video again and do let me know if you know the answer for this let us see how many of us will be able to get that i'm just simply trying to create a cross tab so that we get sales value here and i am going to write a small calculation here and a percent of total now here what i'm doing is i'm doing sum of sales divided by i'm just fixing my denominator part that is the main logic here so for that i'm writing in flower brackets sum of sales now if anyone know what is the type of this lod do comment in the comment section let us see what is this called and how this works okay but it is giving me still giving me error here i'm going to write a max of this and uh, so now what is happening is i am just fixing my value denominator value at a table level so no matter what the value is it will always be same and i'm just making it aggregate here so that you know we are fixing it and if i click on apply i'll just take this percent of total and i'll drop it here now just to verify i'm just making it a uh, percentage here so our percentage or values are matching here you see according to our original calculation 18% 30% and 50 but if i uncheck now you see it is actually fixing our original values whereas this is getting automatically updated the percentage of values is remaining constant so this way you can solve no matter what the dimension you are using in the view you can use a similar approach to fix this okay so this were the important and interesting questions that were asked in Citibank. I hope you have learned something from this video. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.